I love it. So that ties directly into your TEDx, right? Discover mode and and find your quest. And you clearly have found your quest. And in your dad was involved. That's got to be a really exciting thing. Did you? When did your relationship on on this level with your father, if you don't want me to ask on a personal level, like when did you guys start talking about leadership? Did that grow up from when you were a kid as well? Uh, yeah, it, it's really fun to reflect back. And so my dad had these really high powered CEO jobs after working his way up. And um, he became disillusioned with business leadership early on in his career, seeing poor examples. And, and for example, just this kind of mercenary view of leadership of sort of treating people to extract you know, value from them and you know, firing you know, this, the whole like M&A and private equity and some, some models. And he said, whoa, is this what I wanna do? You know? and, and then he came across servant leadership, the work of Robert Greenleaf. And it was just an absolute mind flip for him to think about, instead of thinking about a leader at the top who tells people what to do and has the status, to say, no, the leader is at the bottom serving everybody in the organization so that they can add value to customers and the society. And, and so he, he engaged in this. And so when, when my brother and I were growing up, my dad would invite us to the company picnic or we'd go into the office to meet him. And, and he had a really tough schedule, intense turnarounds. But we're kind of picking this up. And early in those years, I was a little bit cynical about business and I was more interested in you know, nonprofit and government. But then I came around to um, how leadership can be about inside first. This goes back to an organization and it can start with purpose and values. And you can really you know, add value to people's lives through business or through nonprofit or through government. And they're all important. And I'm actually interested in, in working across the sectors and having business have more impact and having nonprofits be more like business with innovation and these kinds of things. So there's a lot of potential there. 